not that I need reminders. I live it every day, I live it literally every minute. Wow, this is really dirty. Christine just dragged all these up from the basement. She's trying to put some of these pictures up around here. <laughs> We've been so busy working that we don't have a lot of time for decorating. Yeah, that's a good thing, probably. Yes, yeah, that's true. Symbolism here. It's hard to even think about or say, but it's it's um, 20 little hands and six adult hands. What we have learned is that almost always there are warning signs in advance. And it appears that this is no different, that there were warning signs in online platforms and in conversations with, with contemporaries, uh, that something, something was wrong, something was amiss, and there was potentially something very bad about to happen. And that's the moment. That's the, that's the opportunity to intervene and, and to, to help and to connect that individual to help before it becomes a tragedy. And that is the, the basic core of what we do at Sandy Hook Promise. And we know that it works. We know there are warning signs, and, if, and, and when we train students how to recognize those warning signs and take those next steps to connect that individual to help, we have prevented many school shootings that way. We have intervened on countless suicides that way. So it's, it's just, um, it's so frustrating that we know we have these measures. All the work that we're doing, that's where we're focusing is, um, is on that education and training and really helping everyone in the community to understand that it's, it's the job of all of us. Um, you know, if you see something like that, if you hear something, if you're concerned, um, you have to speak up, you have to, um, you have to share that. I wish it wasn't falling apart. <laughs> the families of those killed, the kids that survived, the educators that survived, the community, they are in for a world of hell. Um, what they're going to be facing in the next couple of weeks, and I mean, I'm a decade in, and it's still not over. Um, find the support, um, lean into the community, lean into whatever will connect you. Um, to the people who are around you and who are there. It's really hard and it's not gonna go away. And every single time it happens and it will happen again, it brings it all back up. Um, I mean, the second the news broke, my brain went right back to sitting in the Sandy Hook firehouse and I haven't been able to shake that since.